This is the inn. We've room to spare if you're looking to spend the night. Of course, nothing's free in this world. Do stop by again. <laughs> nice seeing you about. You the outsider? The Lord spoke of you. Come on, follow me. I have something. I suppose I could indulge you. Greetings. I must say, I'm impressed by your intuition, sir. You found me out far sooner than most. I trust you are enjoying your sojourn in our fair village. If you have any questions, ask away. I should be glad to aid you. 
Arthur, you say? Hmm. I've lived in this village many a year, but I can't say I've heard of someone by that name. My apologies. Is there aught else you care to ask? If aught about our humble village seems strange to you, that is easily explained. For it is here that thieves are instructed in the skills they require. To begin with, those who wander into the village are evaluated for their potential aptitude. Of course, you are no exception. That you stand here now is proof you were deemed a worthy candidate, which is to say, you have my approval as the thief master. Is there aught else you care to ask? Aye, take care then. We shall remain here. You made it after all. Guess that means I win. Oi, you lot best pay up. Dear me. You didn't disappoint, did you? You've done well. Seems only fair I answer any questions weighing on you. Go on. Figures you'd want to know about him. We're supposed to be neutral. Ordinarily, I wouldn't say a word about one of our jobs. But I suppose I can tell you, the situation being what is. His real name is Dara. He was one of us, once. But he's been exiled. We had no choice, see? After he went off to play the false arisen, we're men and women of shadow. Center stage isn't our place to stand. That's why he was cast out. He'll near be part of our village again. That all you wanted to ask? For all this, 
Dara was in line to become the next thief, Maester. But he failed. Took a massive injury to the chest during the trial. So the title fell to me. That's when he went off, saying he used the scar in his chest to pose as the Arisen. And what a scheme that turned out to be, eh? Now he gets to sit pretty on the best seat in the kingdom. Still, he'd have a hard time proving that he's not who he says he is. He's a wily one, that Dara. Always was careful not to leave behind a shred of evidence. But we can't have him thinking that he gets to go off and enjoy a peaceful life in the lap of luxury after breaking our code. Me thinks he needs something to remind him of the debt he owes us. Here, this should do the trick. That all you wanted to ask? What can I say? Not many people bother with this place. Luckily for me, you were different. Knew I was right to bet in favor of the Arisen. Anyways, most visitors get fooled into going up to the manor. We send them packing with a trifle, and if they don't question it, good riddance. Anyone that complacent has got no business being a thief. We only train the rare few who make it here. Some might go so far as to say that the entire village was built around this spot. That all you wanted to ask? Aye. Till next time, then. I'm just... I fear I've not useful to share. So this is where you were, Master. I searched high and low for you. Do take care not to stray so far next time. I warn you, I'm not easily impressed. I warn you. How wonderful. No doubt you're... I'm not sure what to do about that. I suppose I could... I'm not sure what to do about that. I suppose I could... How can I ever repay you? I warn you, I'm not easily...
Fancy look at my wares? Do come again. Not buying? That's just as well. Better to be selective than wasteful. Gold is a resource best spent judiciously. I'll gather this. It might be of use. Mayhap you will think this a trifle, but... One must harpies be on your guard. <laughs> Just yonder looks to be a good spot for harvesting ingredients. Shall we see if there's ought to be found while we're here? Yon statue makes for a fine landmark. Shall we search for a path to lead us to it?
trounced our foe well and true. Overconfidence is an enemy in and of itself. Let us instead strive to better ourselves with every battle. I'd wager there's ought to be found here. We ought to take a closer look.
Master, I discovered a treasure chest hereabouts during your last journey on the rift. Shall I guide you to it? Tremendous work! Let us aim for greater precision with our next attempt. We've a long journey ahead of us. We ought to employ an ox cart and save our... ...strength. You have my support. This ox cart's bound for m I'll need to see some coin before I let you on. Treat them. take that. We might find a use for it. A full week has passed since Sir Mildred set off. I suppose it's time we vacated her dwelling. Then follow me. I'll lead the way. You have our gratitude. Lead the way. Hurry, everyone! 
everyone! Get yourselves to safety! You go with them. I'll spell that thing myself. There you are! Arisen. In Somehow I knew you'd come. You have my gratitude as well, sir. Ulrika, glad I am to see you unharmed. You must return to the village. Everyone is concerned for you. Forgive me. I'd best go. But I shan't forget this. Thank you. Truly. We managed to repel the dragon. That wasn't the dragon, but a poor imitation of it. No wonder I feel so hollow. Sigurd. You're the current Arisen, aren't you? I pray you do not walk the same path as I have. Tis a style all my own. A patchwork of techniques honed for the sole purpose of slaying the dragon. I see it in your eyes. You are ready to learn, and so I shall teach you a technique. Use it well. Master's teaching is yours, Arisen. I dare say there's no truer sign of mastery, nor better reward for your efforts. I shall strive to learn from your example, that I might reach new heights of my own. That wasn't the dragon, but a poor imitation of it. No wonder I feel so hollow. Aye, good luck to you. For so long as we are united in our resolve to slay the dragon, you shall have my aid. at the inn, we also offer changes of vocation for those who seek it. I get so few customers, you see, that I can manage both roles myself. But... Enough about me. Did you need something? 
Always a pleasure. I haven't the words to thank you. I doubt we would have pulled through if not for you. Now seems a fine time to sort through your belongings, Master. Perhaps tis time we returned to our base of operations and deposited some of our finds. Wasn't sure we'd survive that, but here we are. My thanks for your efforts. Oxcarts make for relatively safer travel. It would allow us to save our strength, assuming we're... This Oxcart's bound for Vernworth. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. Ah, oh, here we are. The ox cart made it without too much trouble. Mayhap we can employ a cart for our... Good tidings, friend. How have you been keeping? As for me, I made the most of my week-long sojourn. One might even say I enjoyed myself over much. You see, I grew so fond of the destination my feet carried me off to, methinks I should like to live there. And that's when I thought... Mayhap you've grown just as fond of this dwelling. Fond enough to purchase it from me? I can't just give it to you, mind. I've my relocation costs to consider, but I'd sell it to you cheap as I can afford. Well, friend, what say you? Much obliged, friend. I hope you're as pleased with our deal as I am. This little dwelling's all yours now. Suppose I'd best be off. I've my own home to get to. I hope you'll be happy here, friend. Farewell. Would you mind coming over here?
a reward for our efforts. I expect Captain Brandt will know how to put what we've gleaned to good use. Shall we report this development to Captain Brandt? Certainly, Master. I can take you to this individual. Welcome to the Star Drop. We serve all manner of fine ales here. What a delight. <laughs> well met, sir. Fancy a gander? Fine wares all. I hope the weather holds. What is it? Points note, good and steady, self-defense. The rules at your left. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. I bear word from Regent Ken Sven, your majesty. He espied the delivery of a suspicious package to a man named Allard, a minister who happens to be one of the Queen Regent's staunchest and most powerful allies in the palace. From the pains he took to remain on scene, it is plain that Allard wished this delivery kept away from prying eyes. That alone is reason to suspect a connection to Deezer's schemes. We must get to the bottom of it. The Regent Kin intends to call Allard to his chambers come nightfall. He bids you to use this opportunity to search the Minister's chambers and see if there is aught to be learned. What say you, Your Majesty? Are you willing to undertake this task? I shall ensure that the door to the Minister's chambers is open between midnight and dawn. Pray. Use that time to infiltrate and uncover aught worthy of suspicion. This task is our responsibility. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. Have you divined aught of the false sovereign, your majesty? This appears to be a bill calling for the arrest of a man named Dara. But hold a moment. Does this man's countenance not bear an uncanny resemblance to that of the false sovereign? Hmm. I see. If your majesty is certain that the two are one and the same, then I am convinced as well. However, I'm afraid this paper alone does not constitute sufficient proof. Ah, but of course. I surmise your majesty intends to post the bill and invite suspicion. A clever plan. The Queen Regent will be forced to deny any connection to our new sovereign, yet will be unable to remove the bill from the public eye. Furthermore, it will serve as an attestation to Dara's existence, which shall remain an undeniable truth till the man resurfaces, and all the while, the doubts lurking in the hearts of the citizenry will continue to deepen. A clever ploy indeed. I shall attend to this matter personally. I have no doubt that this bill would prove its worth in due course. You have my gratitude, Your Majesty. Your aid has been invaluable. So the false sovereign operates at the behest of Queen Regent Deza. This spider has woven her web rather carefully. We ought to- There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen Your Majesty's claim. It seems Magistrate Wardor has been safely delivered from his cell. The man's dedication to justice shall doubtless be a great boon to our cause. Mayhap it would be prudent to visit the man on occasion and avail yourself of his vast stores of wisdom. He might have knowledge that could benefit you on your travels. Now, would you be so kind as to return the key I lent you? I thank you. Pray, take this. Consider it remuneration for your majesty's efforts. Shall we seek out the young man from the other day? Pray. Allow me to show you the way. The guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. Hard. Yes, 
fine spirits. Well met, son. How might I be of service? Well met. Looking to make a purchase? Hope to see you again. Now here's a surprise. Our collection grows. Interesting. I shall have to inform my own master of this. I overheard some of the soldiers standing guard outside the palace. Discussing a curious rumor. Regarding the Queen Regent, and an important personage, you mean? Indeed. Some suppose there is more to her relationship with this Batali dignitary than is publicly known. Oh, it's not right. It doesn't make any sort of sense. The doctor examined him afore and said he'd be better with a bit of medicine. Yet ere since he came here, he's only gotten worse. I understand how you must feel. But you must see that your son's health continues to wane. There is no medicine that can heal him outright. He requires proper treatment. I am caring for him as best I can. I beg only for your patience. However, if you truly cannot entrust him to me, perhaps you would care to take him home with you instead. Mayhap convalescing in a place familiar to him would aid his recovery. Of course, I would be sure to visit him as oft as I am able. Home, you say? Dear, we are pressed enough as tis. All right, he stays. But pray, bring my son back to health. I will look after him. I swear it. <laughs> Sir, ought you not be in... Ah, forgive me. You're not a patient, are you? I suppose it is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. My name is Eleanor. I have the privilege of serving as abbess here. I regret that I cannot offer you a cup of tea, but I'm in the middle of making my rounds of the patients. Not to mention, I have to find the means to procure more medicinal ingredients. Oh. You wouldn't happen to know someone willing to brave the roads, would you? I know it is perilous, but there is one ingredient in particular we cannot afford to run out of. You would procure it yourself? I am grateful beyond words, sir. In that case, might I trouble you to bring me some miasmite? The slums are a bane to the body's humors, and its residents are oft prone to illness. We do what we can with what little we have, but we're always short on helping hands. Your aid is most appreciated, sir. May your search prove fruitful. Yes, sir. Ah, forgive me. I had assumed you were here to bring me... If that's not the case, you will have to excuse me. Well met. I assume you'll be starting off with a mug of the good stuff. Impressive. <laughs> mm. 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 
Do. Yes, sir. Have you procured what I asked? Splendid. You've my gratitude. Unfortunately, I can give you little more than that. Forgive me, but I must return to my rounds directly. Ah, but in place of a reward, Mayhap I could give you a tour of the premises. Only if you've the time and inclination, of course. What say you? Would you care to accompany me? As servants of the Gracious Hand, we provide whatever treatment we can to those unfortunate who are stricken by maladies. Yet, at times, it is not enough. Perhaps you will recall the parents who were here when you first arrived. An unfortunate pair. They've suffered no few hardships in the slums, and now even their poor son Lubomir has fallen ill. By chance, he was examined by a roaming man claiming to be a doctor. Yet, the family had not the money for the medicine he required. So, he was put into our care. Here he is. This young man is Lubomir. We've been administering the medicine recommended by the doctor who examined him, but he has yet to show any sign of recovery. To be perfectly honest, I doubt the soundness of that so-called doctor's judgment. After all, there is no shortage of ne'er-do-wells out there willing to claim their medicine the only cure, that they might inflate its price. But I suppose I ought not say such things so openly. At any rate, I'd best continue on my rounds. Pray, stay as long as you wish. Come, come. We've medicine to prepare. We've enough to make a fresh batch now, thanks to a kind donation. Psst! You there! Help me! Listen, the sisters here are good to us, but I'm growing weaker day by day. It started with a slight fever, and now I can scarce lift myself up. See that empty bed? An old man was lying in it till just a few days past. He told me he was feeling better, that he'd be well enough to leave anon. And now he's... Mayhap I'm just imagining things. I hope that's the case. And yet... Gah... Something isn't right about this place. Pray, should you hear any queer rumors about the Gracious Hand, come tell me of them, won't you? I'd see to it myself, but I can hardly move. Let me get that.
Might you be a friend of Lubomir's? He's seen better days, hasn't he? There has been talk of sending him down to the basement, should his condition fail to improve. That is, the basement sick room, where our most critical patients convalesce under the Abbess's care. None of the other sisters are permitted entry, including myself. Tell is. She gives the patients a special medicine. I, I know not what kind. At times, I hear strange cries and moans drift up from below. <laughs> 